Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, SXC Cosmetics sent over their Glow in the Dark Poly Gel Zodiac Series. This is the second Zodiac Series that they have sent over. So we are going to do a set today. Well, I'm going to do a set. You guys are going to watch while I do a Glow in the Dark set with this beautiful kit. Can we just take a second to admire how beautiful the packaging is? I love like the way the letters are and the colors and it's just so so pretty so we're gonna open the kit and we're gonna look at all the poly gels that come in it comes with six poly gels uh top coat base coat dual forms nail forms um nail like glass shards big bling pieces a uh, little bling and a nail file and the brush and picker tool so here are all the poly gels And here's the instruction manual that goes into detail, just basically saying thank you for purchasing. Um, and that it is going to be hard for somebody beginning to start with poly gel and just to kind of keep practicing and then you'll get it or whatever. So basically gives you all the tips and things uh, you would need. And then on the back, when you flip it over, it has pictures of how to actually do the poly gel and how the colors look in the day versus the glow in the dark. already picked up my dual forms and I'm going to use all six colors that came in the kit and I'm going to use the jewels I'm not going to use um, the other the, like bling and the little glass shards just yet I'm going to use those for something else so I'm going to go ahead and do my dehydrator and my primer which I got from I believe it's model one or Azura I have to go back and check and so I'm going to do that then we're going to put on the base gel Cure that for 60 seconds and I'm going to show you guys how to put the poly gel on with the dual forms.
for two of my nails I am going to use these nail decal sticker confetti whatever you want to call them that I got from my nail boxy and I'm going to use this builder in a bottle that I got from my nail boxy if you would like to see those unboxings I do have those on my channel I will either link them down below or put them in the cards so I'm gonna lay down some of that base gel I mean I'm sorry that builder gel and then I'm gonna place the hearts in there just kind of at a slant and I want to use the orange ones and the pink ones they came in my August nail boxy for reference so you'll know which video um, goes with what and then the wildfire wild flowers came in my June nail boxy so you can see that unboxing as well
some stones to my pointer finger and my ring finger. I am going to use my Model Ones rhinestone gel. And I, if I don't have the link below, I will put it down below because I think if I don't already have it, I will have to find it. But basically, I brush that on my nail with a gel brush. And then without curing, I go over it with top coat and wipe the brush off of the top coat before you put it back in the container so you don't contaminate your top coat. And then I put the stones on and then I cure them to hold them in place. And this combination has been the best thing for me to keep my nails on. So I'm really rough with my nails, um, especially with work and I cook a lot. So, and I make the press on, so I get a little rough sometimes, but this keeps it on for a while. I usually only lose about one or two if I use this method. So this is what I choose to use. I'm going to put on my Gelish cuticle oil. It's made with essential oils, you guys, and I love this cuticle oil. It does very well with my cuticles, keeping them together, and I do put them on uh, every day or every other day, depending on how it is. When I, if I have my nails done, if they're not done, then I use it about once a week, maybe twice. Thank you, guys. So this is how they came out. I do love them. And the glow will be at the end. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in my next one.